It was an Anglo-Spanish affair at the House of Commons in London this week as Charlton Athletic put pen to paper on a new shirt sponsorship deal with the Spanish property firm Lanera. The contract, worth £6.6 .6 million over the next four and a half years, is the biggest in Charlton's history and could increase based on future success. After a wretched time on the pitch recently, Alan Kerbishley at last has something to smile about. It is our best sponsorship deal we've ever done. Uh, but it goes a little bit further than that for us. Uh, you know, it's nice to get the money, but you also it's even nicer when your partners that come in uh, are on the same wavelength and uh, we're all after the same thing. And, you know, I think Lanera have seen our values, our club, what we've, we're a unique club, you know, I don't think there's many clubs like us around. And they've, they've seen that and they, they want to be involved with us, which is great news for us. Lanera already sponsor La Liga Giants Valencia. If Charlton can achieve anywhere near the success seen at the Mestalla, then both parties will be happy with the new business venture. We're the first company, the first Spanish company to be a sponsor of the Premiership. And that in itself is a big responsibility. Um, also because it ties two countries together, England and Spain. And uh, both of us need each other. And I think that uh, this is not a deal for companies. This is a deal for people and for countries. We have five sco soccer schools in Spain, um, and particularly in the region you know, near to Valencia, Alicante, where, um, where Lanera operate from. Um, and obviously Joma are our kit supply. So there's a very sort of Spanish flavour to, to what we're doing at Charlton. But on the pitch, Charlton require a Spanish inquisition of another kind. After their best ever start to a Premier League campaign, the Addicts have lost six of their last seven matches and have dropped alarmingly down the table. Charlton was second in September, but if their current form continues, they'll soon be involved in a relegation battle. So what's gone wrong? Perhaps uh, the opposition we're playing against uh, taking a much more careful look at us and, and, and going about their jobs a little bit differently. And uh, results breed confidence and, um, you know, we've not been getting the results. But I think, uh, for me, yeah, they've shown me in the first half, first half of this uh, season, or the first bit of this season, what they can do. And uh, I know that's going to come back and we've got to work harder for that to happen. In these difficult times, Charlton are taking a long, hard look at themselves. Two weeks ago, the players called a team meeting without the manager to talk through their defensive frailties. At the Valley, the outlook remains positive. It is disappointing, but we've got, you know, we've got total confidence in Alan, um, and we're convinced that you know, this is all going to turn itself around. We've got, you know, we've got so many international quality players, it can't, it can't carry on like this. Charlton will step out in their new shirts on Boxing Day when they entertain Arsenal at the Valley. Wenger's men are also experiencing troubled times. The Gunners have lost their last three and have failed to find the back of the net in all of those matches. Will Charlton feel the backlash on Monday? Sometimes you can, you can look at too many things and, and, and worry about too much, but certainly a, a result won't go amiss and uh, Arsenal on Boxing Day is a big game.